Hello! Hi! Welcome back to my channel. Um, we have some things to talk about a little bit before we hop into, into today's video. Um, yes, I said I was going to do Vlogmas. No, I didn't post anything. So, um, I knew it was going to kind of be ambitious for me to try to do Vlogmas. With as crazy as my, like, October, November months were. And then to try to carve out that time on top of like the holidays and I had a trip to um I had a trip to Covington that I did and I have clips from that but like I just ended up not filming a lot we were filming a lot of like short form short form content for that um so I have clips from that but I never like edited it and made a video because I figured it wouldn't be very long or like really cohesive so um here I am we're gonna try to get back into it in 2024 um I feel like I'm the most motivated I have been for like all of social media like the aspect of it and everything I'm most motivated to like pursue it more and try to make it bigger um than I have been in a very long time so I'm looking forward to it anyway whatever I'm back to posting hopefully I'm back to filming at least we'll see how much I post but it should be more than it has been in the past few months <laughs> um but we are going to be doing a 24-hour reading vlog today um if this is your first video here hi welcome I'm Kristen I've been reading for since September or uh, yeah September of 2021 um I've been doing YouTube for two years now. What? That's crazy. Welcome. We're going to be reading for 24 hours. It is currently 9.32. Look at there. 9.32. 9.33. is 9.33. So, we're going to go through. I brought a bag of crap down from my bedroom upstairs. Um, so, we have the essentials gigantic Hershey bar three musketeer bars sweetheart ribs hello focus um, if you ever want to know what kind of candy to buy me not that you would ever need to know what kind of candy to buy me but um, one of those three will do um, I also have hot cocoa probably will make that at some point so I have snacks I've got um, energy drinks. <laughs> I've got Dr. Pepper. I've got wine. So we'll see where this journey takes us. Like I said, it's 9.33 at night. Um, I like to start reading 24-hour reading vlogs at night so that I can start late, end the next day late, and be able to go to sleep instead of starting early, staying up all night, all day and all night, and then having to stay up all in the next day. So, I took a, well, okay, I wanted to start this at like 7, so I took, I uh, tried to lay down for a little nap, and then I didn't take a nap. I slept for maybe 30 minutes, so we'll see how this goes. I'm definitely going to have to sleep at some point during this. May, like, four hours top, probably, though. So, we're still going to get, hopefully, like 20 hours worth of reading in. Last time I did this, I read four books, um, and I put myself in... I put myself in the predicament of trying to read an arc and I'm not liking the arc and I should have DNF'd it but I didn't so I struggled like the last quarter of my reading vlog. Um, so currently I am reading Sable Peak by Devonie Perry um, which is the last book in the Eden series. Um, so that is my current read. I am currently 40% in so my plan is to finish this first we're gonna finish Sable Peak um, I'll kind of give you my thoughts before we start reading of what I'm thinking about it um, I also am in the middle of reading fourth wing I started a vlog for this and then got the flu and d d so sorry the vlogs not happening I'm sorry 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 I only vlogged like the first hundred pages um, and then I have a couple more physical books here. 
to choose from. I'm not sure what I'm going to be really in the mood for. Um, I mean, I have a ton of more books upstairs, but these are the ones that I brought down with me. Um, I have Wildfire. I read Icebreaker when it first came out. Um, loved it. I just got this for Christmas from my hubby. So I have Wildfire. I also have Defy the Night. I've had this for forever um I got this when it first came out it is signed um which I think is cool and um so I've heard that this is very good and I just got the second book during the Barnes and Noble sale so I figured maybe I should start it and I've heard that the third book comes out next month and then I have the Outpost by Devney Perry. I don't know if I'm going to want to read another Devney Perry book in this to like just so that I can switch up things. But I did bring this down because I love Devney Perry. And then I have uh, That One Night. Ooh. I have That One Night um, by Emily Rath. This is a prequel novella so I just need to make sure that it's okay that I read this first um I was actually in Jacksonville um <clears throat> and Emily Rath posted that she had gone to the local Barnes and Noble um and signed some books so me and Paige ran over there and got us both a copy and then I have um My Grumpy Billionaire which I was sent by Valentine BR recently um so this Sounds right up my alley. This is the eighth book in a series um, by Anika Martin. Um, but I love a billionaire. So, and this cover is so freaking cute. I love the color purple. So, I'm excited to read this. It's billionaire, boss, employee, grumpy sunshine, office romance, opposites attract, siblings, best friend, workplace romance. Boy, I'm probably gonna be reading this one for sure for sure so that's my plan is to start with finishing up Sable Peak I'm not sure how long this is gonna take me but um so what I think about Sable Peak come down here a little bit um what I think about Sable Peak I love it obviously I've loved the entire Eden series I think Oh, what is my favorite? I'm going to talk more in depth about the entire series as a whole during my, like, yearly wrap-up. I plan on doing that, um, filming that probably tomorrow, or no, today's Thursday. So, I plan on filming that Saturday. <clears throat> um, after, I wanted it to be after I did this. And then I didn't, didn't want to put pressure on myself to try to finish a book, bef like, because then I'll just have one day left at the end of the year. Um, and I'm going to have friends over for New Year's Eve. Emily's coming to see me and I'm so excited. Just in general, I've really loved the Eden series. I think I've rated them all five stars. I've just, it's just so good. Book one really like drug me in. But I think Juniper Hill, Juniper Hill I think is my favorite. I think Knox is my favorite. But Mateo... Mateo might steal his place because I love Mateo. If you don't know um, who his love interest is, like if you haven't read the series, you don't know who his love interest is, skip this part of this vlog because if you can avoid the spoilers of who his love interest is, the shock of finding out who his love interest is, Holy crap. Oh my god. I'm going to start talking about who his love interest is. So, if you if you don't want to know, skip the Sable Peak portion of this vlog. Skip to it. Skip it. Skip it. Just skip it all. Um, skip to when I don't have a Kindle in my hand anymore. Don't leave the video. Just skip. Um, Mateo and Vera, are you joking? Are you joking? When I found out that his love interest was Vera I literally screamed out loud I like squealed are you kidding <laughs> I love it 
I love it. I love them. Um, I'm so excited. It's been very slow burn, which has been, um, I feel like I haven't read a slow burn, uh, kind of book in a very long time. So it's kind of been refreshing to have them not just like jump straight into it, but I'm really loving like them just like getting their little stolen glances and stuff, which has been super cute. They're just now starting to like maybe act upon it just a little bit. So I'm very excited to finish this. I'm so freaking excited to finish this. So we're going to get started. It's 9.42, so we'll get started at 9.45, and I'm just going to do a stopwatch on my phone, um, and then also I'm going to be using the Forest app a lot. I talked about this in my Powerless vlog, Powerless by Lauren Roberts, which I read forever ago, um, and I know now it is like popping off, and I'm so excited for Lauren. Um, because that book is freaking incredible. So, um, I, I love that it is gone. It's going so well for her now. But I talked about this app. It is, um, a tracking app. And when you start it, so you can do stopwatch where you do, like, an amount of time. Or, like, a, a timer where you, like, so you want to focus for 20 minutes and then come back. Um, it can count up or down is what I'm trying to say. You can turn on this deep focus. And what it does is you can earn coins to be able to um, get new plants. See, there's all these different plants and they cost money. And the only way to get coins is to focus. And then, but once you start this can't like get into any of your other apps like if I try to click on something it tells me that I can't get into it so it's super helpful for um me because I am very ADHD extremely ADHD um and I am really bad about just picking up my phone because I feel like I need to do something with my hands so, we're going to try to not do that. So, that is what that app is for. Keeps me from playing on my phone and putting down my book. But, um, alright, it is 9.44. We're going to get started here in just a second. Um, um, oh, it's 9.45. Alright. Let's read. They just had their virtual kiss and I am giddy over here kicking my feet. Giddy. Oh, that was so cute. Okay. We are right at an hour in. 58 minutes, 36 seconds. Um, I'm 52% in now, I believe. Yes, 52%. I'm so giddy over this book i'm so freaking giddy over this book um i love it so much i mateo is my favorite eden i can say it now mateo is my favorite eden um <laughs> i'm so i just love him so much i just i don't know i, I don't know what it is about him that has me so giddy over him but I am so giddy I'm so giddy he's just so freaking cute oh my god I love him I'm probably gonna read for another hour and then I'll probably get a snack a snack um I did make me a drink um I just grabbed a two liter and I thought it was Dr. Pepper and it's coke so not what I wanted one hour so like I said Read for another hour, take a small break, eat me a snack, probably watch a little bit of YouTube while I eat. Um, I might turn on like an ambiance and I'm trying to like keep the lights on so that I stay awake. 
but I might turn on an ambiance and turn the Christmas tree on in a couple hours and make it all cute. It's not Christmas anymore, but Christmas doesn't, Christmas is a very long time for me. It, uh, Christmas ends on January 1st, but sometimes the trees stay up for weeks after that, so it just depends on how motivated I am to put up all the crap. But I'm going to get back in this April week. I'm loving it. I think I'm in love with Mateo Eaton. Oh my god, this man. He said... <laughs> he showed up to her house. And he said, do you want to take a shower and just change your shirt before you leave? She said, oh, where are we going? He said, home. She said, um, I don't have to study tonight. He said, very good, your stuff. Allie sleeps best under bed and I want you in mine. Oh, how do you say no to that? The answer is you don't. You don't. You get your things and you go. That's what you do. That's what you do. We are almost already another hour in, which is crazy. I felt like that hour just like flew by. Um, I am at. 65% done now. Um, I'm hoping. Oh, I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> yeah, my candle battery should hold out. I still got 8%. Um, oh my god. I think I want a snack. And probably an energy drink. I'm hoping I can. It is currently 11.41. 11:41, and I am hoping to stay up till at least four. I think I think I have like two and a half hours left in this book. Probably not even that. Two hours left in this book. So theoretically, I should be able to. Oh my god. Well, theoretically, I should be able to finish this book by three because I'm going to take a small break while I eat. So maybe finish Sable Peak, read this, if I just need to make sure that this is okay for me to read, even though I haven't read anything else. I think this is going to be like a, a midday tomorrow read because I'm going to be listening to it as well. I think I have like five hours left. Of listening um, for this so we will get to this as well for sure but I'm tired of sitting here I'm tired of sitting here um, my house is a disaster Christmas is still thrown up everywhere my children got way too much crap I have love every chocolate bell and of course and Alani Nate. Not sponsored. So I have a chicken quesadilla that I'm gonna eat. Maybe I can dance myself awake. I feel like I need to do like jumping jack or something to wake myself up. But I'm hoping this will help. Does anybody else, does anybody else dance when they eat? Because I do that. Like if I'm standing while I'm eating, I'm like dancing. I'm just moving. And my brother does it too. And my husband thinks we're weird. Focus. Why is it struggling so hard? Dirty sauce. Um, my mouth is about to be on fire. But the sauce, let me tell you about the sauce. Um, so there's this taco place called Condado's Tacos and um, it's like a chain It's like a chain uh, Like street tacos kind of vibe, but it's like my favorite thing ever There's one in Greenville, which is about 40 minutes from where I live. I'm obsessed Their tequila lime steak is delicious, but this sauce is so hot and so good. It's like the best taco sauce ever. So I buy bottles of it. This is my second bottle in like three weeks. It's expensive, but it's so good. So I have my dirty sauce. I have my 
a lot of new energy drink. I'm about to down this, watch a YouTube video, and then I will check in with you before we start reading again. Um, I'm probably not to take a long break, maybe 30 minutes or so, but I need energy and I need food. I need sustenance. I need sustenance. All right, let's get back to reading. We're two hours, two hours, 24 minutes. Um, I'm tired. I would have been okay if I was able to take a nap today, but I wasn't. So, hope that this energy drink kicks in in about 20 minutes. And try to finish Sable Peak at least. I'm going to finish this before I go to sleep. For sure. For sure. I'm going to finish this before I go to sleep. It's currently 12.10. I've been up since about 9. So, we're looking at like 14 hours. I'm old. I'm getting old. I can't stay up like this anymore. Um, I didn't sleep great last night anyway, though, so, eek. Okay, let's read some Sable Peak. Still waiting on the energy drink to completely kick in, but I did read, what percentage were we on? I don't remember. Um, I'm on 74%. 74%, um, I feel like shit's about to go down and I am not ready for it I don't want it I don't want it no I don't want it I don't want it I just want everything to be fine oh <sighs> so we're two hours 57 minutes we still have so long to go but We'll get there, I guess. Alright. About to hit the four hour mark. Holy crap. Um, I... 87% in. I only have 47 minutes left in this. So, I'm probably... Yeah, I know. Stop telling me that my freaking Kindle's gonna die. I need you to make it through the next 45 minutes. I really think... The energy drink isn't working as well as I hoped it would, but I really think that's the only reason I'm awake. I really do. Can you tell I'm tired? So I'm going to finish this. I love it so much. I love it so much. It's so freaking good. Um, definitely my favorite in this series. I love... I love my tape. I love Mateo Eaton. That's all you need to know. Let's start out we're four. The time jump in these epilogues? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so sad that that series is over, but I'm wondering if we're getting a next gen. I'm wondering if we're getting a next gen. Has Stephanie posted anything? She announced another small town Montana. Um. Se series. But I don't know if they're connected. It's called the Haven River Ranch series. It's small town Montana. Is everything in hers? Um, I need someone to let me know. Does anyone know? I need someone to let. I need someone to let me know. I need. I need an. I need a next gen. They teased. She teased the next gen. So I don't know if it's just coming later or what. But 
That was so good. I loved it so much. Um, our fire alarm is beeping, so if you can hear it, sorry. Um, let's see. We'll see if we can figure out if this is, if I, if I need to read this first. Emily says to start with the prequel. Woo! Excitement! So this is like 120 pages, I think is what I said. So I think I'm going to start this. Tough, we're just two people lost in a city, not our own. My name is Rachel Price, and the sky is officially falling. Imagine being at your brother's wedding brunch when you get an email that crushes all of your dreams. I didn't win the Barclay Fellowship. My rising career in sports medicine has just come crashing down. So here I sit alone in this swanky hotel bar, ready to drown my feelings in bitters and bourbon. And suddenly, in walks him. Ooh. Okay, one. Love a girl that loves a good bourbon drink. Because I am a girl that loves a good bourbon drink. I very much am like a bourbon and coke. Or an old fashioned girly. So. I don't know if she was drinking bourbon. I would have made Lane make me a bourbon drink. That's going to make me very sleepy though. We're going to start this. We're sitting at four hours. Hello, four hours, 37 minutes. Starting this right now. Okay, I've gotten like 45 pages into this and I'm just struggling to stay awake. It's 326, so I'm at five hours, 41 minutes. 5 hours 41 minutes so I think I think I'm going to take like a 3 hour nap I'm going to go sleep till 7 I'm going to sleep till 7 and then I'll get up and finish this this battery is about to die it's just time for me to go to bed I'll probably take this and lay in bed and read this a little bit so I'll definitely update you on if I get farther when I wake up so, I will see you after I take a quick nap. Good morning. Um, it is now. It's 7.21. I got up at 7. Um, we are now at 9 hours, 36 minutes. I'm still tired. If you can't tell, I have to cut out so much yawning. I'm so tired. I'm hoping that like once I get awake good, I'll be fine though. I don't know that I'll be fine. I don't know. I'm going to continue with that one night. And I will. Okay, so... I finished that one night. It was actually only like 74 pages, 73 pages. Um, and then the last like 40 pages of this is the first five chapters of pu Pucking Around. Pucking Around, which I'm guessing is the same couple. So this was just like their little one night sand kind of thing. Um, and then I guess fucking around is their love story. So, I'm not going to read that right now because I don't think I want to read fucking around at this very moment. But I definitely want to read it really soon. Did enjoy this and very interested in reading fucking fucking around. Why is that so hard for me to say? Um, and very interested in reading it. Um, so I'm excited to continue this series now do I want to do the grumpy billionaire or do I want to do wildfire I feel like I need a refresher on this like world um I remember like 
I remember the main things that happened in Icebreaker, but I don't remember like anything about the side characters in Icebreaker at all. And I remember reading that book and being so excited about the side characters, but like I guess none of it stuck. I was so excited at the time about the uh, like side characters and their books but I don't remember a single thing nothing about them nothing which is insane but I think I'm going to do the grumpy billionaire which I'm very excited about I'm the most feared man on Wall Street unfortunately my best friend's little sister hasn't got the memo get started with this one oh let's do a time check-in by the way it is 8.08 a.m. and 10 hours, 24 minutes. I'm going to start reading. character's name is Hugo and I don't know how I feel about it. Nothing against people named Hugo. I've just, it's not a name that I've seen in a book before so hmm I don't know how do we feel about Hugo as a love interest name. So it seems she has moved to New York for her dream job and then the Sunday before she's supposed to start, um, they call and tell her basically you're fired before she's ever even started. Um, and it seems that as she's filling out other job applications, um, no one will hire her. So, I'm guessing Hugo has to do something to do with that. So, he's going to end up hiring her. Of course. Workplace romance. I'm playing Monopoly Go. Does anyone else play Monopoly Go? I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed. Back to reading. Hello. Um. I'm 76 pages in. I'm on chapter. Chapter. Uh, I'm on chapter 14. Um. I like it so far. I'm not like 100% sold. Um, the writing is a little weird to me sometimes. Um, but we're over halfway there. Look at that. 12 hours and 17 minutes. I don't know how I feel about our mailman character in this. He's like the quiet asshole type that you normally will get in like a billionaire romance like this. But he's, he's almost like, he's very antisocial. Um, so I just feel like I'm not getting a lot from him. Even being like in his head in his chapters, I feel like I'm not getting a ton. Other than the fact that he was like into her um, when they were younger. So, we'll see how this goes. I'm... Coffee has been made. It's not very good, but it's fine. I'm out of espresso. Um, so that sucks. After I finish this, I think I want to finish fourth the wing. I'm scared. But I'm going to finish this. Hopefully, if I end up, like, not being into this by, like, page 150 or so, I'll probably put it to the side. Um, I don't think I'm going to DNF it, but if it's, like, not keeping my attention, I'm not going to waste my time. Um, during this video trying to like get myself into it 
Um, so, we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully, things will start picking up. Because uh, I think that it's just been really slow so far. in this book is so weird it also repeats itself a lot like she keeps talking about this job that she was supposed to have and how her zoom calls went so well we I, I get it I get it the zoom calls went well that, that's cool cool good for you like she just said that she stopped at the book store to pick up a little Prezi for Kelsey which is her roommate Prezi? A Prez? Who? Why? Why? Also, he keeps saying that, he keeps talking about, like, the fact that her favorite artist is Salvador Dali. Like, this is, he mentioned it seven, two times in, like, 30 pages? Why? I don't understand. So... I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> There's also a really weird analogy that Stella made twice in a, the same chapter about um, the fact that her, because everybody talks about the fact that she has character flaws, which is just her being like too overzealous and cheery and bubbly and reckless. And she, um, she compared it to getting a carton of eggs and then want the, you think that you're getting a regular egg and then you crack it and there's a bloody partly formed chick blob instead of an egg. What? Like, I just don't understand why she, she just has a bubbly personality and is like cheery and stuff and so all of these she keeps calling them Hugo types that she's dating so just like stuck-up businessmen I guess don't that they don't like her personality but then don't date them Find someone that has interest that you have. I don't know. I feel like I don't like either of these characters. Okay. Updates. Um, I just took a shower. Thought maybe it would like wake me up and I think it did. Um, it is 11.50. We are 14 hours and 5 minutes into this. Um, the past like hour I haven't really read much. But I read the first like five chapters, or I read like the first five pages of this, um, and I'm excited about this. I am definitely going to read this. But now that I've moved upstairs, do I want to try to finish Fourth Wing? Do I want to try to finish Fourth Wing? Let's see how long Audible says I have left. I have four hours and 49 minutes if I listen on two times speed and. 3 hours and 51 minutes if I listen on 2.5 times speed, which I can definitely do if I'm following along. Um, so, I think I'm going to, hope these aren't dead. Back, battery low. We could see these might last 4 hours. They might last 
30 minutes so we'll see but these headphones are my favorite um i just got them on amazon but they're like super stretchy um so they don't hurt my head because i get migraines extremely easy um so these are like super flexible they sit really well on my head they just died shoot but i love these they're so comfortable um they have noise canceling regular and then what is called um like transparent mode or something like that where you can like hear everything around you so if you're somebody that likes to run or something like that and you want to be able to hear your surroundings you can do that i'll link them down below not sponsored anything like that i just really really love these headphones um i'm on I'm in the middle of chapter 22. Why would I stop in the middle of a chapter? The chapters are, don't line up on Audible. And that pisses me off sometimes. Chapter 22. Oh my god. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Update time. Um, 15 hours, 47 minutes. We're getting somewhere. It's 1.33 p.m. P.m. Um, I'm on chapter 28 of Fourth Wing. Um, is going down she's happening and um i'm scared because i think this book leaves off on a cliffhanger if i'm not mistaken so um i need that to not happen because can i jump into iron flame right now no no i cannot i cannot that is not something that i can take in to my brain right now still listening to the audiobook as well According to this, I have two hours and 18 minutes left, so I should finish this by 3.30, 4. I should finish this by 4, um, unless I have to stop, which is possible because I think I'm going to be eating something soon. Hopefully. I don't know. It says I'm three minutes into chapter 28, and I literally haven't read a single thing on chapter 28 so i don't know why audible does that i don't know if i just if it's off because i'm reading at 2.5 speed i don't know let me know if you've read this on audible if you had this issue or if you run into this issue a lot because i feel like none of the books that i ever read are correct with their chapters and i hate it it pisses me off <laughs> Especially when I'm trying to read along because if I try to read for a little bit without the audiobook it's it throws me completely off which is one of the reasons I haven't done that with fourth wing is I couldn't go read and then find my spot in my audiobook so that isn't cool that's not cool audible yeah not cool So much just happened in that chapter. <laughs> ah! So much just happened in that chapter. I think I just went through like 18 different emotions. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Update time. Um, it is now 3.39. I have like an hour left in fourth wing. Chapter 34. Oh, I'm so scared to read the rest of this book. But I have an hour left in it. We are at 17 hours and 55 minutes. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm going to make it, I think. I think.
Oh, this book. Oh my God, this book. I have like 20 pages left and I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Like, this much. I'm in shock. Oh my god. What? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I need a minute. Now that I've had a minute to um to process what I just read. What? That is not. That is not how I expected this book to end. Holy crap. I get the hype. I get it. It deserves it. It, it. I'm so excited to read Iron Flame now. <clears throat> oh my god. Also... Getting a Zayden POV at the end, holy crap, and it being Teddy Hamilton that narrated him. I audibly gasped out loud when I heard Teddy Hamilton's voice. <laughs> That's so bad. It does Wildfire by Hannah Grace, which I probably am going to buy the audio audiobook. And this is what we're reading next. So I'm probably just going to listen to Teddy Hamilton some more. Um, so I'm probably just going to buy this audiobook and listen to it. Um, because I was, I was considering it anyway. Because I feel like I'm reading faster. And it's, it's 4.51. We are 19 hours and 6 minutes in. Um, so we only have five hours left, so I want to be able to make sure that I can try to get through this. Um, I think I have a couple hours 
left on Spotify, so I might try to listen to it on Spotify and just hope that I can get through it. Mm, I might do that. Let's see if Spotify. Look at that. It's the first one. It's meant to be. It's the first one on Spotify. So, this is 10 hours, 54 minutes, so we probably won't get completely through this, but I might just run over a little bit so that we can finish it. I'm going to go grab some pizza and an energy drink, and then we will start wildfire, and I don't plan on moving once we start it. I want to, like, just listen to it the whole time, so. Yay. I'm so, that, oh my god. I can't. The book was so good. It deserves all of the hype that it has. If you haven't read Fourth Wing yet, holy crap. Go read Fourth Wing. Um, I have Little Caesars, Crazy Bread, Marco's Pizza, Energy Drink. Um, because we still have five hours of this, so. Start Wildfire. I'm just going to start it over. I only got five pages in earlier, so. Let's just... I'm X. Thanks for sure. Nobody wants to talk to you, DJ. Okay, update. I'm on chapter 12, page 119. Um, it's 6.22. So we are officially... 20 hours, 37 minutes. Oh, it's almost over. I've... Down another energy drink. Um, I forgot how much I love Hannah Grace's writing. Um, she's so funny. But I'm loving this. It's been really, really good so far. Um, the premise is... Basically, so we have Russ and we have Aurora. Russ is a hockey player. And Aurora goes to the same college as him. And they are both, they like hook up at like a hockey party um, at like the end of the school year. And then they both end up being counselors at the same summer camp. Um, and they're not allowed to like hook up or anything. Like there's like a no fraternization policy in the summer camp with the counselors. So they're now there and they're not supposed to do anything. So it's been good so far i'm definitely enjoying it so i'm gonna read some more i'll probably check in in another hour or so and let you know where i am i'm so tired i'm so tired update time chapter 24 page 230 Five. It is currently 7.45. We are almost there. We are. We just hit the 22 hour mark. 22 hours. Only two more to go. <laughs> Only two more to go. Thank God. I guess I'll check back in if anything like crazy happens in this. But it's just been really cute. Like, you know, romance book. But yeah. I'm really, really, really enjoying this. It's really cute. I love Russ. He's so sweet. I love Aurora. She's freaking adorable. I just... This makes me... Reading this makes me realize that I just really didn't like this. This just didn't hit for me. Um, Because this is so cute. It's so good. And I love them. So I'm going to continue. Reading this. I'm done. I finished Wildfire. It is 9.25. So we're done. We're just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna be done. We're, we're at 23 minutes, three, 23 hours and 40 minutes. That's basically 24 hours. I'm not gonna start a new book or anything because that would be, you know, kind of crazy. Um, but let's go over everything I read. I finished Sable Peak. Um, I have the bonus epilogue downloaded and I'm excited to read it. Um, loved that. Love that series. Mateo is my favorite Eden. No, no question. Like, hands down. I love Mateo. He's my favorite. Um, and then I 
started this. Um, I think I'm definitely probably just going to DNF it. I might try to pick it back up tomorrow and just maybe read a couple more chapters. But I think I'm just going to DNF it. I just don't really connect with either of the characters. The guy is kind of a jerk in my opinion. I'm not about it. Um... This was incredible. I finished this. I don't know where I was when I started. Probably like chapter 20 or so. Somewhere around in there. So I was probably like halfway. 45, 40 to 50% done with it. Um, this was incredible. The end was insane. It deserves all the hype. Five stars. Five bazillion stars. Five stars for Sable Peak. Um, and this probably is going to get like five stars too. Why not? I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. This might get like 4.5 because it was really cute, but it wasn't like life changing or anything, but this was really good. I really like this. Um, I don't know how I feel about the epilogue in this. It's a nine year jump and we also see some things that happens with other characters that haven't gotten books yet. So I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. But, this was really cute. It was really good. Um, overall. Oh, and my little novella. That one night. I'm very excited to read more in this series now. Um, my friend Ashley said that this is her favorite talkie series. Um, so, I'll probably be picking up Pucking Around at the beginning of, uh, the year so I'm excited about that um thank you guys so much for watching this video um I hope you enjoyed it it was very fun to film but also I'm exhausted and I'm ready to go to bed make sure to subscribe I'm excited for new videos in January now that like the holidays are over and hopefully no one in the house will be sick anymore because I feel like we were all that someone in this house was sick for like two months straight so, now that all that is over, hopefully we will be back to a normal, our normally scheduled programming on this channel. Um, make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I've been doing a lot more, like, reels and stuff on there, over there, um, which has been really fun. So, um... Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!